NBA Eastern Conference playing tournament second game. You do have the seven seeded Boston Celtics going against the eight seeded Washington Wizards. Now, I can pretty much get the I can pretty much tell that everyone's gonna be hopping on the Washington Wizards, which ideally I would like them for them to win. Um, and of course to get into the playoffs, but let me kind of jump into more of analysis on the Celtics for the Wizards here. You do understand about the injuries about Jalen Brown for the Boston Celtics as the number one. Um, he's out for the season. We already understand this. So that pretty much has provided a holding block for the Boston Celtics and any chance of competing and contending in the Eastern Conference. Jalen Brown's wrist underwent successful surgery Thursday and is expected to return to basketball activities in around three months or so. So he's out of there. It is what it is on there. The Celtics have been looking like garbage um, even this whole season with Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's been one of the most improved players out there and a star player, but the Celtics all in all in general have been pretty much that 500 team throughout the season. They never had the momentum and especially with this injury, it's not a good look. Now there are some quote unquote day to day injuries with Jason Tatum, Evan Fournier. I expect them to play within the playing tournament pretty simply on that side of things. The Celtics will have quote unquote home court advantage over the Washington Wizards. But if we're looking to the Washington Wizards side of things, not that many injuries. I mean, you already know about Danny Avija and then Thomas Bryant. Um, but besides without those players, the Wizards have won, I believe, around 15 out of 19 games, somewhere in that mix. And they have huge momentum with Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal, especially with Russell Westbrook within that mentality of pretty much to get in the playoffs. He's going to get it done with the Washington Wizards and with Russell Westbrook. Um, Russ is a will type of player, so within this new orchestrated playing tournament type schedule, pretty much for the Washington Wizards and Russ, Russ is the type of player that he can will you in to win one game, and that's going to be his mentality, same thing with Bradley Beal. The Washington Wizards do have the momentum coming into this game on the road against the Boston Celtics. Now ideally, if you're the Wizards, you would rather play the 76ers than the Brooklyn Nets and then the first round. So I doubt they're going to tank. I doubt they're going to take this game for granted. Russ and Bradley Beal will take on whoever it is necessary to get into the playoffs. On my side of things here, even though the Boston Celtics do not have the momentum, let alone Jalen Brown's out, and they've been all over the place, they do have the experience and they are still a core unit. I'm actually going to surprise everyone and I'm actually going to take the Boston Celtics to win this 7 first A seed um, playing tournament and I expect the Boston Celtics to go against the Brooklyn Nets in the first round of the playoffs now where does that leave the Washington Wizards the Wiz I fully expect the Wizards overall to make the playoffs who knows they could get that seven seed Russ and them could will themselves in and win it I don't know I just got a feeling that the Boston Celtics are going to take this game and they're going to be on home court and when the pressure is on the line with Jason Tatum he'll get it done with one game but who knows, not really an objective standard right there, just kind of on my thoughts about it. But more on objective side of things, the Celtics and Wizards have played three times within this regular season, and the Celtics have won two out of those three outings. Um, but, you know, the game that Celtics lost to with the Wizards, the Wizards won by 13, and then the last game in February when they played against each other, the Celtics squeed out a one-point win. So who knows about it? Marcus Smart is going to have you know a big performance going against Bradley Beal to try to stop him within that game. And Russell Westbrook, we may see a bad shooting performance, but who knows about that on that side of things. Um, I'm actually going to pick the Boston Celtics to win this game against the Washington Wizards. Again, I get it. The Wizards have the momentum. Um, and Bradley Beal and Russ are going to get at it. But I'm still going to roll the Celtics to take on that seventh seed. Um, and we'll see... You know, the Wizards going from there, but it's my take on things.